The vampire's mercy is playing on his thoughts. I see that clearly on his face. Perhaps Laura reminded him of poor Claudia. Seeing his beloved Marie again has brought it all back to him. Marie's love is all he has now, and the hope of holding her again, the only hope. He is close now, close to the bitch who commands these vampire vermin. Gabriel will make her pay for the injustices he has felt at her hands. She is powerful. She will try every trick in the book to tempt him to her cause. There is just the small matter of the clockwork tower to overcome first. Another mad invention of Frankenstein that I hope will only delay his sweet revenge. And welcome to the Clockwork Tower. I like this level. It's just a cool design. One that's fun to play over and over and over. <laughs> First, we're gonna try not to fall off this beam. Now, to the left is a gem, which we cannot see because the camera won't let us know it's there. So we just have to randomly jump. Oh, thank you! More magic is always good. Anyway, yep, now we're gonna head back to the ring. And wait for this moving platform. This level can be difficult because we're gonna be making a lot of time jumps here. And you gotta work with a fixed camera, so sometimes it can be tricky. So, we're just gonna sit here. So, did everyone have a good New Year? I know I got really drunk and don't remember much, other than the fact that I laid around a lot on Saturday. <laughs> did you guys have a good New Year? Good. Yeah, I'm gonna jump on this thing, very good. It helps to get ready to jump first before trying to jump that. You know, hold to the left, hold to the right, so that Gabriel looks like he's about ready to jump across. Here we need to drop down carefully. Make sure your shadow is... Oh, damn it! Anyway, I was saying, make sure your shadow is underneath the object before you drop, or you're gonna miss, and something stupid's gonna happen like my previous fail. Okay, what the hell's going on here, Gabriel? You know, this, what's really amusing is I can replay this level over and over and over and never fall, but since I'm recording, I have to fall. It's like Murphy's Law. Oh well, it wouldn't be fun if I didn't fall in some while. Not that falling is fun anyway. Now we're gonna jump on this thing and almost over jump it. Yeah, that happens. La 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 la. Here's this thing we're gonna do now, which will bring that center piece up that we crossed earlier. Look a checkpoint. Yeah, I won't need that. Provided we can get across the beam. Now this is fun. They want to fool us to make us think we can't do this. But we can. We're just going to go up one quick, and then we're going to wall kick over it. Watch the second electricity. You want to time that guy. Get up above. Exactly. 
it goes off for about five seconds, so you have plenty of time to do the wall kick, jump, and climb above it. And now we're going to drop again. Again, waiting until Gabriel's shadow is showing up on it. Otherwise, you're going to miss. Being that the camera is off-center, yeah, you might not see it. So, once again, wait till his, you see his shadow underneath it before dropping. And we're going to obviously jump to that thing that's glowing at us. Like that. Don't do this. Yeah, exactly. I almost fell. But you want to do that again to catch the one on the right. Sprint jump. Yes. <laughs> Here we're going to make an impossible jump to catch this leg. Which is fine with me. And we'll drop down here to a timing puzzle. This one looks very difficult, and let first time I played this, I, I actually got frustrated by it because I was really drunk. But after trying it again when sobering up, it's not real difficult. As soon as the first one, you see the first one start up, count to three. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, exactly. By the time you get to three, one thousand, the second one will be off. God damn it. Mistimed the last one. So we'll just do this counting again. But anyway, it's three seconds, exactly. If anyone understood what I was saying. You want to watch that one because there's a fast one and then there's a slow one. You need to know which one is which. So you don't get zapped with it like I did. Next thing we want to do, we want to get to that night to the right, so we'll drop down to the left and then jump across the gap. There, that'll make up for my stupidity in missing jumps. <laughs> oh, big open area. Hmm, this isn't fishy or anything. No, not at all. We'll start turning this and... Yeah, that guy again. He's got some upgrades, too. So just for one, he's got a little bit longer of a reach, as I just demonstrated. <laughs> he also has the ability to throw crap at us now. Which, not too bad, can be annoying from time to time. For the most part, though, he's not terribly difficult. Same boss we fought in the uh, electric laboratory with a couple of things. Damn it, he's over there, Raymond chainsawing that one. Hey, I did not give you permission to hit me, You're making me look bad. That's better. Lightning run not. Chainsaw of the shadow variety. Hey, come on now. I think we've had enough of you. Yeah, since Gabriel just crushed its brain, that'll be the last we see of that thing. Now, where was I? Oh, right, the switch. We're going to bring that centerpiece up again. Oh, 
has an elevator. How convenient. And so ends the Clockwork Tower.